<laughs> um, so I'm going to do a little backstory on why and how I got started in APL Go. Uh, my son has a condition called Ehlers Danlos Syndrome. There's no cure for this, and he was constantly hurting um, from age three until he was nine years old. He would pretty much cry himself to sleep. He would kick, kick, kick his legs until he would either cry himself to sleep or pass out from kicking his legs so much. It was honestly the most insane thing as a mother to watch somebody you love so desperately not being able to help them. Um, and Pharma didn't have answers for me minus ibuprofen and Tylenol and building up his muscle. So I jumped into the holistic world because the holistic world had a little bit more variety of options. Um, and that's when a girlfriend of mine called me and said, hey, if you're still looking for an option for Luke, uh, if you come down, I got you uh, some lozenges I think you might want to try out. They're actually from Europe, which is a big bonus because they don't allow a lot of prep in their stuff. Um, it's uh, all certified, kosher certified, gluten-free, dye-free, and it only uses beetroot and molasses to sweeten it. I said, let me see the science because I'm more interested in the science. I have a medical background with my family and myself. I have a little bit, so pretty much grew up in the medical world. Um, so I looked at the science, and as soon as I saw that it was mucosal, that was a big one for me. When you go through the mucosal membrane, uh, especially with me, like my sons and myself, we have a gene uh, mutation. It's called the MTHFR gene mutation. It's brutal. I can eat as lovely as I want, and I don't absorb nutrients the way I'm supposed to. I don't break down nutrients the way I'm supposed to, so it doesn't matter how I eat. I struggle with weight my whole entire life. And the only thing going mucosal or sublingual is the thing that really helps. So when I saw that, this goes through mucosal membrane because it's a lozenge form. You suck on it, it tastes like candy, literally tastes like Jolly Ranchers, different flavorings of sorts. Uh, I had her send me the two, SLD for inflammation, STP for hurting. I can't say pain because of FDA rules. Uh, so he started sucking on those. Uh, he didn't know what they were, but he thought I was just giving him candy and I was a really cool mom at night. By day three, my son stopped crying himself to sleep. He was consistently on SLD STP for three months, started wavering himself off uh, about three months after the fact. And now he may be stuck on them maybe two or three times a month. 